Hey, what's going on guys? Pastor Frederick here, back with another video. You know, it really breaks my heart that I have to make this video today. This video is in no way disparaging Maverick City Music because I, I'm a fan of Maverick City Music. I'm a fan of Chandler Moore, Naomi Rain. I'm a fan of the group, but I've seen a decline in recent years of their standards and the approach that they're taking with their music. It started when they collaborated with Elevation Music, Stephen Furtick and his church. Stephen Furtick is known as a false teacher. So when I saw Maverick City Music collaborating with them, I was like, ooh, we're going down that route now. Now, Maverick City Music is collaborating with Kirk Franklin. Now, Kirk Franklin is a legend in the gospel music scene, but Kirk Franklin is not known for his theology. Kirk Franklin is not known for his high biblical standards. Kirk Franklin is mostly known for commercializing the gospel, commercializing the word of God to make it more palatable for the world. I wanted to share this clip of Maverick City Music performing at the BET Awards. Now this is a secular award show. I have two clips I wanna show you. And these clips are emblematic of the issue that I'm seeing. And I hope this is not a trend. I hope this is the beginning of the end, but if it isn't, they're going down a dangerous path. Now I have a scripture that I wanna tie it all in. So just, just bear with me in this video, I'm trying to watch this whole video. But this first clip is Maverick City Music performing at the BET Awards. Now, I know people are going to say, We have to go into dark places because we're the light of the world. We have to go and glorify God and be, be a light. I get that, right? I absolutely and I 100% agree with that. As long as we are sharing the gospel, we don't go into dark places to become darkness. We don't go into dark places to make people feel comfortable in their sin. So let's watch this clip and I'm going to show you something that I think is emblematic of what I'm saying. That right there is my issue. Billy Porter, a man who wears dresses, who is bold, proud, of living that lifestyle. It's just standing up bold, clapping like he's giving praises to God. If we're truly going in these dark places to be light, to share the gospel, we shouldn't have people like that clapping. They should be trembling under conviction of hearing the gospel. But the music that they sing, it's so commercialized and surface level that almost anybody could feel comfortable singing it even if you're living in rebellion to God. This is where we need to begin to examine our lyrics, examine our faith, to see if we are in line with God's word. Because we, we're not supposed to make unbelievers comfortable. We're supposed to make unbelievers uncomfortable because that's what the word of God does. And we do that to win them to Christ. So you might be thinking, well, they were still singing their song. You know, it'd be one thing if Maverick City Music, you know, they collaborated with a secular artist and sung a secular song with a secular artist and didn't sing the gospel at all, then that would be wrong, right? That would be absolutely wrong. That would be ridiculous. If Maverick City Music went to the BET Awards show and performed with a secular artist and sung his song, that would be ridiculous. Well, that's exactly what happened. Who do we have here? We have Chandler Moore making a guest appearance. Naomi Rain making a guest appearance. Singing Pup Daddy song. Let's keep going. You know I'm gonna see you again, big. Biggie Smalls, <laughs> who sung some of the, I mean, dude was explicit in his lyrics. Even the clip, it looked like he's holding some liquor in his hand. 
And you got Maverick City Music on stage behind in front of this nonsense, singing with Puff Daddy. What is going on here? What is going on? I mean, you see, this is the danger. This is the danger of going into these dark environments without no conviction. You can get sucked in and you can get influenced by the world. You know, the word of God says that bad company corrupts good character, good morals. Light and darkness cannot mix. Righteousness and unrighteousness cannot mix. So how are we justifying this? Righteousness and unrighteousness mixing. They're not singing their song. They're singing Diddy's song. I had some technical difficulties with the last video, but I still want to provide you with the scripture to tie this whole thing in together. First Timothy chapter four, beginning of verse 16, it says, keep a close watch on how you live and on your teaching. Now, I think that applies to Christians, pastors, even Maverick City Music. We have to keep a close watch on our teaching, our lyrics in their context, because when we commercialize, sanitize our lyrics to make it palatable for the world, we invite influences into our lives that could corrupt our character because the teaching is what we stand on. Doctrine is what we stand on. Being doctrinally sound is going to provide a barrier for us to guard us from some of these influences because God's word acts as a buffer and blocks a lot of these negative influences. But when we bring down that wall, when we put the knife, the sword away for a butter knife, right? We don't have anything to fight with. And when those influences come in, like the P. Diddy's and the Kurt Franklin's and the Stephen Furtick's, they love that soft, commercialized gospel music. They love that because it doesn't convict them of their sin. So we cannot dumb down our teaching. And this is the main reason why. It says, stay true to what is right for the sake of your own salvation and the salvation of those who hear you. At the end of the day, we have souls at stake. This is bigger than just as us individually. People who hear our teaching, people who listen to songs of worship, your words are going into their mind and their salvation is on the line. So you may see a, a professional justification to soften your lyrics, to make more money and become famous and win awards. But what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul or to lose souls? People who are listening to your music, their salvation is at stake. And if you're making music like that, for an extended period of time, that's an indictment on your salvation. Are you truly saved? So this is what we need to be aware of. This is a concern that I have for Maverick City Music. I pray that this is just a little bump in the road that they can get back on track. You know, I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. There's still grace and mercy for them. So I'm going to be continuing to pray for them and, and pray that they get back on track and get connected with godly men who truly want to see them stand firm and be doctrinally sound in all that they do. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel, like this video, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think of Maverick City Music performing with P. Diddy? I'll be back next week with another video. This is by the book. Peace.